off the PR, but like, you know, just need that one win, you know? And it's kind of interesting that they're playing, um, like, two people who represent this character. There's not that many people who main Link, right. there's not that many people who main uh, Bowser Jr., but they're some of the two best to do it. It always makes me laugh, too, that Scizor, like, conveniently only ever attends when T is here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he told me some things about how he helped out to Buzz. Beat yeah. T. yeah. <laughs> like, Scizor actually, like, he teamed with T at Civil War. And then once he saw T was going to outplace him, he started coaching everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, I see what place He but might be here to do the same today, man. No, that's, what, that's <laughs> what I'm getting at. That's, what, that's why he's here. Yep. <laughs> There's no coincidence. Yeah, meanwhile, Taternator and Scizor are actually going off. Just back and forth hits. Yeah, I'm not I'm interested in how this matchup was going to go. I feel like, yeah, as you can see, like, Scizor is pretty comfortable with dealing with the Mega Koopa, so that's going to already be kind of difficult, I think, for Taynator to set up his offense with uh, the projectiles, but oh it's a huge combo. Uh, yeah. yeah, getting a lot of damage, but still, neither player in a significant advantage. Oh, oof. Yeah, the F smash, uh, he goes it down, it does go past the ledge. A lot of people just don't recognize that deceptive hitbox, but oh my goodness, Nair dash attack. Yeah. Any more percentage that would have been the stock. Yeah, that's what one of Link's more deadly hit confirmed, especially if he gets the spin animation on the neutral air. It's unavoidable completely. Ooh, yeah, not just Toon Link, <laughs> Link has that too. Clean bomb forward air. It's probably even better with Link because his forward is way stronger. Oh, that was very uh, scary situation yeah. for Taynator, recovering low. If you hit Bowser Jr. out his up B, you actually can't use up B again. He just like drops, it doesn't matter what percent he is at. Managed just to pop out of the up smash right there, living just a little bit longer. Scizor still maintaining this lead at 116%. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, Link's relatively heavy as well, so he's not in super danger of just dying to most things right now. It's one of the scariest things about dealing with a Link because he deals with rage so well. You can just sell your stock as early as I want to say this person. And that bomb uh, dash attack is looking so deadly, man. It sent Taternator all the way off stage and just a tad more percent. It's gonna become a kill option as well. Okay. Nice. I like that he didn't go commit to the full hop on the up air. Saw a Taternator actually uh, saw a setup coming, so he didn't really overextend at all. Hanging on to all the rage. Taternator is definitely a kill over Saints like an F smash. <laughs> Most things from Link. Oh, yep. there it is. The Nair into dash attack. Really great stuff. And turning it around as well. Getting the stock off the side blast zone. Yep. It's uh, it's rough, man. Like, it doesn't even matter which part of the Nair he hits you with. Like reverse, the forward hit, the strong hit, the weak hit. It all combos yeah. <laughs> into dash yep. attack. So you saw he had max, close to max rage at the end there too. Even with like a heavy character like Bowser Jr. Is, yeah. You're not living that. And that's always going to be a factor too. I mean, in this case, uh, Scizor was playing from the advantage position the entire set or game. But uh, even when you're behind, you make use of all that rage and get really early kills, and you always have that comeback factor. So Taylor is going to opt for the Lilac Cruise counter pick. I imagine just the nature of the stage being a little bit smaller, uh, platform positioning might make it a little bit harder for uh, Scizor to zone effectively. But we'll see. Are you off to a pretty strong start? Nice. I really like how uh, Sudo is using the bombs to pretty much limit where Taylor can go, force him in the air, and then cover his lanes with a strong hitbox. Alright, gonna keep him in the air. Nice bomb toss to just cover the ledge. Ooh, right through the edge of the stage with the up air. Oh, here he goes again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Caught him <laughs> slipping. Really tried smart. a little bit too much. Got a little overzealous. Since we're capitalizing immediately with another dash attack. Yeah, he was ridiculously strong. Uh, yeah, Tainer definitely should have counted his uh, luck when he got that first up there. Oh yeah, that's the second time was all right. The third, third attempt was just yeah. too much. <laughs> Ooh, another third time the charm. Ooh. Almost He's the still stage. going for this. <laughs> that's uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, hmm. so, uh, that was questionable. <laughs> <laughs> what else can you really say about that? I mean, we were just talking about how he was getting 
A little bit too trigger happy down there. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. And then He's on his very good. final stock, decided to keep going for it, especially on a stage like that. You yeah, know? I mean, it was his counter. <laughs> so. Like normally when that happens, you're like, oh, 